Lori from Passionate Penny Pincher and I am doing five dinners and desserts, one dessert, five meals and one dessert, hopefully in under 20 minutes. We're going to see how fast we can do it. You can click the link in the video if you would like to get all of the freezer meal stuff we're doing. They're amazing. It comes with this cute little bag, all the freezer meal cards you need to make 12 weeks of amazing recipes super cute little cards that I've actually put into small bags that you can stick in your freezer meal. So they're super fun. And here's the biggest thing that I'm super excited about. If you, the, one of the recipes that we're making today is a beef brisket. I'm afraid I'm going to forget the beef brisket. So please stick around to the end and say, Laurie, don't forget the beef brisket because it was supposed to come earlier and now it's not. Who? Give me a heart I like if you are joining me and hopping in. Get all the supplies. Click the link in the video. We are, these are the best freezer meals you will ever make. These are the best freezer meals you will ever make in your whole life. They are like such, they're so yummy. Every single one's fantastic. There is no better one on the planet and we're the only ones that send them out to you. So here we go. Let's go. Get cooking are we ready guys so we're gonna start with the lemon pesto chicken let me get y'all set up right here so you can see everything can y'all see okay it comes when you order with the two sets of freezer bag stands which are pretty awesome so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we've got two and a half pounds of um, boneless skinless chicken breast all I'm gonna do is add in a half cup of prepared pesto so a half cup prepared pesto, and then we're just gonna put all of that in there. And the nice thing is that we, two recipes we're making today call for pesto, so we're gonna use up every single bit. I love pesto. My kids actually like it more than you would expect. They wouldn't have probably said if you asked them, do you like pesto, they would not say, oh yeah, we're all in for pesto. But they do actually really enjoy it, so there's that one going in. Now we're gonna add in three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm excited about this one, you guys. This is actually one that's so easy, and I love ones that are super easy, and then you can throw them in the freezer. We're literally gonna pop these babies in the freezer. We will freeze them until they're ready to eat. Then we'll bake them. Now we're adding in two cups of mozzarella. And what I did that I thought was being smart, but now that I'm doing it, is not all that smart. Remember, you'll get the freezer bag stands and everything I'm using. Just click the link in the video if you're interested. Okay, so what I'm doing that's crazy is, let's see, I'm just gonna knead this all in this bag. And what I should have done, my thought was that I could use the freezer bag to hold it for me. Hang on. So I'm just gonna knead this in the freezer bag right there. So I'm gonna mix this all around really well. So you don't even have to mix this one, which is amazing. We're just gonna give it a good stir. I'm actually gonna do a really good job of this one because this is the only one that requires this much work. Much work. So we're just gonna give it a good, there we go. We're just mixing it all around. Super easy and fast. Now, depending on how much room you have in your freezer, you might want this to be really flat. So what I'm gonna do to make it a little flatter is I'm just gonna take it all, make sure I get all the air out. So I'm getting all this good air out of there. And then you can make it as flat. If you have a small freezer, this is a great way to make sure that you use it well. Now we're gonna take that. And we're gonna put it into this other bag. And then this is my favorite part, but I gotta find it. I lost my little card, yo. How did I lose my card this morning? Oh, there is a little card that goes in, but now I'm gonna lose it. I'll put it in this one just to show you guys how it works. I lost it on my countertop this morning. This will tell you how to bake it when you pull it out of the oven. So it makes it super easy. You'll have everything you need to do to just make it up right there. So then we'll ship all of that to you so you don't have to worry about it. So easy. Okay, so there's one meal done. Next up is, I am so excited about this one. This is the pesto tortellini bake. And literally, um, it's so simple. That's actually too much. So it calls for one pound of tortellini. That was actually two pounds, so I'm gonna stick some back. She's just gonna use this. So it's two pounds instead of one pound. I think that I can actually get away with extra pesto. We were discussing, or extra tortellini. We were discussing this yesterday in the team because my family loves tortellini. 
So I'm gonna probably do about that much. Okay, so you've got your pounds of tortellini. You can use fresh or frozen. Then you've got a half a cup of pesto. This uses up the other jar that you just did, so that's awesome, I love that. Then you're gonna add in your, first we need a big spoon, because we're gonna stir this all together. Next we're gonna add in, let me make sure I've got my directions right here. We're gonna add in one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna add two cloves of garlic minced. Which I forgot to pull out this morning. So we've got our two cloves of garlic minced together. Then we're gonna add in two cans of fettuccine, of Alfredo sauce, so that's two big jars. So those are good to go. My family is gonna be so excited about this one. We've got our mozzarella. And then, now I'm doing something extra. You don't have to do this, but I'm actually adding in extra rotisserie chicken because I wanted it to have some protein in it. So this is just a little bit of extra of extra fettuccine, I'm sorry, of extra chicken. So this is just a rotisserie chicken, all done. We're actually gonna eat this one for dinner tonight, so I'm not even putting it in. I'm not doing it in a regular aluminum pan. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. So this is such an easy one to do. This is so simple, um, and I'm telling you what, your family, like my family I know, is gonna be super excited about dinner tonight. So if you were cooking this to put in a freezer, you could either use a regular pan like I'm using, or you could totally just go ahead, let's see. So you could, and use a foil pan and then put in the freezer. So here we go, y'all. I am so happy about this meal. I think my family is gonna like think I'm a rock star. We're gonna add some fresh bread and some salad tonight. So stinking yummy and easy. And then on top of it, you wanna add a little bit of Parmesan over the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Lean off my countertop here because I kind of have a mess going on with my pesto. Okay, so we've got the Parmesan. We're gonna go ahead and I've got the recipe right here. Here's the recipe card. Like I said, you can click that link in the video to get that. Um, so we've got that. We're gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan. Guys, don't forget to hit the share this button and let folks know that we're here this morning. If you know somebody who could be blessed by this, I promise they will thank you because these meals are just so good. I really do like adding the chicken. So if you can get a hold of a rotisserie chicken and add that in, I think it's just going to make it extra yummy. Now, if you're making it to freeze, what you're going to do is you're going to take your cling wrap that I lost in my kitchen this morning. I'm going to look around and find it. It has to be here. I know it does, but maybe it's not. Okay, you're going to take your cling wrap and you're going to cover it right up. And then we're gonna add some aluminum foil. I got aluminum foil at Costco. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. How much aluminum foil was there? There we go. We got our foil. Now what you're gonna do is take your, your cute bag and you're just gonna put it right there like that, your little bag stand. This is gonna tell you exactly what you're making. So when you pull it out, you know, okay, we're gonna bake this at 375 for 50 minutes, which I love. So that one's all done. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this on with some tape, super easy. Assuming my packing tape opens, which of course it doesn't this morning. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Good to go, freezer meal number two done. Y'all, how many of you guys wish you were eating this tonight? This one is so good, I'm super excited about this one. I think it'll be super yummy. Okay, so there's meal number two. Meal number three, okay y'all, let's talk lasagna. How many of you guys love a good lasagna? Here we go. So this one is so fun because you actually are gonna make two, they make a lot, so I don't want you to make too little and then wish you had enough. This is the quick and easy lasagna. This is week one of the freezer meals. You can click the link in the video to get everything you need. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna break up these pasta shells. What I love about this is I'm making two, which is perfect for my family because my family does not love, whoops. Let's see if my dog is gonna go for that pasta. He's gonna think it's something good and then he's gonna realize it's not good. Summit, get. Okay, 
sorry guys. Um, so you can break these up. What's nice is that you can literally, you don't have to cook these. So these do not have to be pre-cooked. I know a lot of times when a recipe calls for a lasagna, you feel like it has to be pre-cooked. It doesn't on this recipe. So we've got this already done. And you know what? I was supposed to put some sauce in the bottom and I totally forgot. So let me go do that first. Okay. So we're gonna, let me try this one more time. Sorry guys, I forgot to put a little sauce. So you do need to put your sauce together now. I've gone ahead and I went ahead and I had my ground beef and my sauce mixed up first, which is gonna make this go way faster. If you're doing this at home, it's gonna take a little bit longer, which is just fine. I'm just gonna put a little bit down in each one just to get the bottom of this. And I totally forgot to do that, you guys. I forgot to pull out my marinara sauce this morning. Y'all, I have to tell you, I thought that I was gonna be so organized doing this Facebook Live and I was so prepped and so planned, but it doesn't matter. If you're making a bunch of meals this fast, um, I don't know, maybe Martha Stewart could do it and be super amazing. I just don't have that in me. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our stuff ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and add in some, so we've got our sauce, then we do our noodle, then we're gonna do another bit of sauce. And I wish, if this had been warm this morning, this would have been better. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit harder time spreading it because I had it in the refrigerator last night. So I would recommend, when you're doing this, hopefully at home you don't have it done prepped that early because it's definitely gonna be harder to work with. But I think we'll be fine. So I'm gonna do that. I did use ricotta. So next up, we're gonna mix up some ricotta, a little bit of Parmesan, some parsley flakes. Again, this is pretty, I'm gonna, while this, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. Wild. There we go. So while I mix up the part, this is the ricotta, we're mixing together the ricotta teaspoon of dried parsley flakes and a half cup of Parmesan. So this is great because you're using up the other Parmesan you use. So what's nice about these freezer meals is they plan out how much you're going to need so that you're using up all of your stuff at the same time. So we've got our Parmesan. Y'all, how good does that look right now? If you need to make dinner, this is gonna make, basically we're making supper for the whole summer all at once. It is so fun. Why do you freeze these in two pans? Because we're actually gonna make two pans because um, for my family, we don't love leftovers. So I would rather make the size that they're gonna eat and enjoy as to make something bigger. Okay, so I would take probably, we'll say, this would be much easier to do if you, if your spaghetti sauce is a little bit more, is a little softer, but we're just gonna kind of spread it out in the pan. Guys, this does not have to be perfect. That's the best part about these meals. That they are super forgiving. You're not gonna have to worry about everything being just perfect because we are all about easy here. They will still taste delicious. Your family will be in heaven when they eat these for dinner. I like to get one good bit of ricotta over everything and then if the next layer isn't as perfect it doesn't matter because I know everybody on the first layer has some ricotta. It's going to be way easier to do if you're doing this with warm marinara <laughs> instead of cold like I was using today. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the mozzarella and we're going to do this all again. So there's our first layer of our lasagna. This would be enough to feed, I think, five people easily. I'm not a big lasagna eater, believe it or not. It's not my favorite food on the planet. My kids, uh, two out of three, love lasagna. The other one does not. I'm just gonna take up our noodles. You do not need to have the oven ready to noodles. The regular noodles will do just fine. You can freeze this in the freezer for up to three months, and you probably, in a deep freeze, could freeze up to six months. I'll freeze mine up to six months in my big freezer outside. Um, let me use up the rest of this noodle. Okay, now we're gonna layer the next one. There we go, this, here's my spaghetti, so my marinara. Remember, I went ahead and I had mixed up my marinara before. We're gonna do the same thing all over again. 
I've got a bunch of sauce here, so I'm gonna go ahead and split it between both pans. That's gonna do a much better job. These are gonna be really full pans. Now, if you have a big family and you're feeding like eight to 10 people, I would do this all in one big pan. Even five, if you have six hearty lasagna eaters, do this in one pan. Like I said, I just know my bunch is fine with it like this. And I probably should have done, oh, that's right, okay. So we've got our sauce on here. And next up, we've got our ricotta and then our mozzarella. And then I'm gonna cover with some, I'm gonna go ahead and do my ricotta, which like I told you, won't be as perfect on this one. So I'm just gonna kind of dollop it around. What I might do, let's get a knife actually. I think this will do fine though. The good thing is there's gonna be tons of cheese on the top. So you're gonna just make sure, and I already know I've got cheese on the bottom, so I'm not super worried about them not having plenty of cheese in there. It's gonna be fine. This is a very quick and easy lasagna. This is not like a lasagna that you're taking to go sell at Olive Garden. This is a lasagna that your family's gonna eat. They're gonna absolutely love it. You're gonna have a ton of cheese over the top. So there we go. Lots and lots of cheese on the top. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and cover it with some saran wrap and then some foil. And the way I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. What I love about this is I just made two meals, so I don't have to worry about anything else. I'm gonna take my press and seal. I do love the press and seal glad one. I feel very skilled. I think I got this last year on Amazon Prime Day. You might wanna cover yours a little bit more. I'm a little afraid, y'all. You're gonna stuff these down into these little pans. If you have a deeper pan, that's even better, but this pan is working just fine. Again, if y'all are interested in these, you can click the link in the video. If you're watching over on Instagram, I'm super excited that you're here in my profile. You can get all the information for this. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna get our big press and seal foil. I'm gonna wrap these babies up. I am excited about this one. So this is actually six meals. I didn't even think about this. Because this one's double, it's even more. Y'all don't let me forget. I'm so afraid I'm gonna forget about the brisket at the end. So y'all make sure to remind me to do the brisket at the end. So these two are done. And what you're gonna do then is you've got your label here, right here, and it will literally, you just pop it on there, tape it right on. Again, we'll send you all the information for this. I will actually send you all of the things you need for this whole thing, which is super fun. There we go, so two lasagnas are done. Okay, next up, I'm gonna give myself a little grace here and tidy up my workspace because this is a mess. So let's see if we can't just do this. Oh, that's a mess. These meals seriously are the best freezer meals you will ever make. Every single one of them is so good, I can't even wait. I'm gonna scoot this stuff all over here because we're gonna need to make some room. Okay, so the next recipe up is one that I've been a little bit intimidated by. This is Brunswick chicken stew casserole. Um, it's different, I'm just gonna be real honest and tell you, this one is different than anything I've ever made before. People have told me it's amazing. I think it's gonna be amazing. This is one, I've tested a lot of these recipes, everything else here today I've tested. This one I did not test, so. I've got one pound boneless skinless chicken breast already cubed. This is some smoked sausage, and I'm just gonna chop it right up. Hoping y'all can see this. Let's go ahead and put this in here. You need to just mix all of this in a nice big bowl. And you know what, let's see, I'm just gonna do that. So I've got my chicken, my sausage, and throw all that in there. This is so different. If you're from the South, you've probably seen at a barbecue restaurant, Brunswick's chicken stew. So this is a casserole with the same kind of stuff. This is three cups of cubed diced, tomatoes, diced potatoes. Then we're gonna add in a can of patisse, 
diced tomatoes. I'm sorry, those were cubed hash browns. It's been a long day. I'm gonna also add in, this is different, y'all. I'm hoping my bowl is big enough. Honestly, I don't think my bowl is big enough. We'll see how we do. If the bowl's not big enough, we'll get a bigger bowl. The bowl's not gonna be big enough. I don't know if I even have a bigger bowl. I'm gonna have to rinse out my pesto bowl. That's the only option I got. Okay. Here comes Brent with chicken stew casserole with a pesto fix. I knew this was a big bag box of stuff. I don't think I prepared for exactly how big it was. Thankfully, everything in the pesto was all cooked. So here's our big bowl. Here's my bigger bowl. I'm gonna mix everything in here and then we'll just add it all in. So I've used a cup of corn. Then it calls for the weirdest thing. This is, it calls for jambalaya mix. Now, a lot of stores don't carry it. The actual name of it, let me give you guys the right name. Here we go. The next, and here's the card for those of you interested. It calls for a package of frozen gumbo mix. Here in Ohio, they don't sell that. So I'm using um, some seasoning blend that I got. It's pick a sweet seasoning blend. I think it's gonna work fine. I added a little bit of corn. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna add all this in here. We'll see how it does. Actually, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna add this in too. This is a, can, a zesty a packet of zesty Italian seasoning mix. Y'all say a little prayer. I need a bigger spoon is what I need here. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up together here. This is gonna make a massive container and it will feed a bunch, which is so fun. Oh, I told y'all I was big and then I still have more. I'm gonna also throw in a cup of barbecue sauce. Now, if you're in the South, in fact, I would just use, looking at the size of the sucker, just go ahead and use a big old thing of, use a full jar of barbecue sauce. I wouldn't even, I would use the whole bottle. So this was a 12 ounce jar and it took almost everything. So just use the full bottle of your barbecue sauce. You guys, this one is kind of crazy. I've heard this one's amazing. And I have to say, as I'm making it, it smells fantastic. I have been teasing my friend Shree about this one. Every recipe Shree has ever told me to make has been fantastic. So I'm trusting her that this is good. I have a big mess to clean up underneath my feet <laughs> whenever we're done. I'm gonna pour it into this big old casserole dish. Oh, y'all. Guys, if you were doing these with me, would you give me a harder like and let me know that you're doing the freezer cooking meals with me? Okay, I'm hoping. Hang on. As luck would have it, my husband bought, has some bigger ones here. How many of y'all are doing these with me? I'm so excited to see those of you doing these with me. I'm excited. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this in the bigger thing because I'm just afraid that that's a heck of a lot to go in that smaller one. So here we go. And if I have to mix it in here, I think I'm gonna have to mix it. Let's see, I got this going, y'all. I'm actually more excited about this now as I see it because now I'm starting to see what, figure out what this one is. So most of the recipes I've tested or had a part of, this is one that I did not have anything to do with, but my friend Shree did and I trust her so much. So if you guys like Brunswick stew, I think I would add a little extra barbecue sauce, honestly. So Shree, I don't know if you're out there. I think I'd add it a little bit more. That's just my personal opinion. This is different for sure. We're gonna go ahead and add our foil over this one. I really wanna try it just because I'm so curious about it. So go ahead and add the foil. Let's find my little card. This would be so yummy with some cornbread. So when you make this one, I want you to make a little bit of cornbread to go with it. Do a serve with a nice big salad. You're gonna pull it out. It's gonna make a ton. I honestly think if you have a smaller family, I would make this one into two because that is a ton of food. Okay, so this is meal number one. Meal number two. Meal number three, four. Now we've got somewhere else in the kitchen. I have one more. Oh, meal number five. So we've got five. Let's go up. We got one more we gotta make. And I'm gonna have to make some space for it. We're gonna do the brisket and a clear cake. Y'all give me a heart if you wanna do the brisket first, and then a like if you wanna do a clear cake first. I think if I do the brisket, I'm just gonna have to give myself some room here, because the brisket's a bit of work, but we're gonna do it. 
So I'm gonna have to clean off my countertops because y'all can see I have kind of a mess over here. Okay, let's see if I can scooch this down just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, let me clean up my stuff to get ready for the brisket because the brisket is like, the brisket's a, the brisket's a thing. Let's just call it that. So I wanna clean off my space as much as I can. Um, I am so excited about the brisket. I'm gonna tell you, I got my brisket at Costco. It was huge. We actually split it down into three briskets. So this is number three. Y'all, are we ready for the brisket? What I think I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna mix the seasonings together in a small bowl. I'll show you how it's done. So this one takes two tablespoons of liquid smoke. I did a little extra on that one, so I'm gonna go a little light. Two tablespoons of liquid smoke, two tablespoons or a teaspoon of onion salt. Now I looked everywhere and I couldn't find onion salt, so I'm using minced onion. A teaspoon of garlic salt, which I did have, a teaspoon of celery salt, which we could find easily. That's our half teaspoons. Um, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and then we're also gonna do uh, two tablespoons of Worcestershire. So we're gonna mix that in. So this is really, other than the brisket, it's not gonna call for that much. This is gonna feed a ton of folks. So I'm excited about that one. What we're gonna do when we make it, here's the recipe, y'all. Here's the grandma's group brisket. This one is, this one's a thing. This is what it looks like. I got it from Costco. It's massive. It's like ginormous. Phew, see that sucker? It's big. Before I get way involved over here, you want to go ahead and get your big sheets of foil ready. So I'm going to get two big, huge sheets of foil ready to go. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to mix. So we've got this all mixed up. This is actually way easy. When I saw how to do it, the hardest part of this one is just dealing with the finding the brisket, honestly. My store, my Kroger, did not have beef brisket. My husband went to the store, and they said they had corn's brisket. It was not the same. So corned beef brisket is not the same as um, beef brisket for those of you who find it. You're just gonna rub this in. For those of you who are like me and hate touching food, this is grossing me out too. So don't even, like, we're in this together, but we're gonna go ahead and rub this in. And Shree, if you're watching, you're gonna tell me if I'm doing this wrong. But you're just gonna rub this in. It's grandma's beef brisket. This is like a wonderful, wonderful old recipe. Everybody in your bunch is gonna love it. And what I should have done probably is to just go on ahead and done this on the foil, that would have been easier and kept the juices in. And that's what I did last night when I made it. But I didn't do that this morning. So we're gonna take our brisket over here. Let me wash my hands real fast. We are going to push everything back because I wanna make room for the foil. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this on here and like I said I should if you're making this at home what I should have done if I'd been thinking is I would have done the sauce right there because I want to make sure that I get all the good juices so just go ahead and mix it on your foil I'm gonna rub it in one more time and then I'll wash my hands and I'll show you what I'm doing next okay so now I'm gonna wrap this sucker up in foil. And what's nice about this one, we're actually gonna make this one tomorrow. But what I love about this one is it cooks for five hours in your oven. So your house is gonna smell amazing. It's gonna be fantastic. Again, if you're interested in these recipes, click the link in the video and we will give you all the information for everything you need. This is a two and a half pound bag from, I got it on Amazon. These, um, they're at, you can find them at your store too. It was like three bucks on Amazon to get a set of them. And I think just for this recipe alone, it's gonna be handy to have this big old thing. 
So literally dinner is done. Got my little card that says grandma's beef brisket. So when I go to bake it, it says I'm gonna thaw in the fridge, keep wrapped in foil and wrap a second piece of foil around the meat, place on baking sheet, bake for 275. How easy is that one? So that one's done. So we just made all five. Who's ready for some dessert? I'm gonna wash my hands real fast and then we'll pop in here and do the dessert really fast. For dessert tonight, we are making the eclair cake. I am super excited about this one. If you've never made it before, you know it's my all-time favorite. It's my son's all-time favorite, which is even better. Go ahead and pop your, when you start to make it, stick your um, frosting in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften it. We're gonna take graham crackers. And we're just gonna open these up. A couple of quick tips as we've been talking about freezer meals. One thing that helps a ton is to prep, prep, prep ahead and read your recipes a couple times through. I read the recipes several times through just so I knew exactly what I was doing. Even though I've made a lot of these before, it's just easier if you, it's hard to remember how to do everything. So that way you'll know, okay, yeah, I have everything I need. I don't have everything I need. What do I need to do? Then open up your packages because opening your packages ahead of time will make the freezer cooking challenge go so much faster. So get all of your stuff opened ahead of time and then mix everything as you can. So we're adding in, we've got two cups of milk. I'm adding two packages, two five and a half ounce packages of instant pudding. Then we're gonna add in I'm gonna mix these real fast. So this is two of the bigger packages of instant pudding. Then I'm gonna take a whisk. And I'm gonna whisk this all together. So simple. For those of you on Facebook, I'm hoping y'all can see me. Let me know who's doing these with me. They don't suggest it, but you think it would be great. You definitely need to prep better. Yes, you need to prep ahead because if you don't prep ahead, this is super, super, super hard to do. I'm hoping I can't see any of your comments over there. Oh, good. There are people over on Instagram. I'm excited y'all are here over on Instagram. Y'all, I normally don't do Facebook Live on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. Um, I've never done this. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. I'm much more nervous doing it on both places. Okay, so we've got this mixed in. This is an eight ounce can canister of um, Cool It, which is just the best. So many people in the Facebook group, y'all, so many people have made this one and told me this was like a favorite. It is a favorite, it just is. So there we go. Now we're gonna mix this up together. Oh y'all, it tastes like an eclair, but it's made at home. It's so yummy. How many of you guys have made this one so far? to start with. I'm running out of spoons, guys, which is an issue. I, I hate having a ton of extra stuff, but when I do Facebook, when I'm making all this food fast, I gotta have it. Okay, so make sure you have your spoons out, get your measuring cups done. That'll make it go way faster. Okay, so we've got this made in here. Now what we're gonna do is, oh y'all, that's perfect. You just wanna make sure that your cream is really good. There you go. And guys, don't forget all of the freezer plans we're using. These are the best freezer plans on the planet. Like there isn't anybody who makes them any better than us. Um, we are the only set of freezer meals or a set of meal plans at all that will ship our plans to you. So you don't have to print everything. You just grab them all. Click the link in the video to get yours. You will love them. I promise if anybody's in the group and has them already, they're gonna tell you, you will not be disappointed. This will be the best money you spend. Less than a meal at Chick-fil-A because you need some eclair cake in your life tonight and you get to be included in the private supper club. I'll give you a peek at all the things that are included if you order, but you're gonna absolutely, I promise, we are about 90% sold out as of this morning. So once they're sold out, we will not get any back in stock until September. So you definitely, or I'm, well, maybe, yeah, no, September. So if you're interested in these at all, please, please, please grab them. I'm gonna give this another 30 seconds. So now we're gonna do another layer of these. This is so easy, but so worth it. And six works really well, if you can get them not to break. So there's those. 
add the rest of the pudding on. Seriously, your bunch is gonna thank you, I promise. This is my son's favorite recipe ever. He's been working, he's working out um, doing yard work and he is exhausted when he comes in at night and tired and hungry and this is would be his favorite dessert. So it's fun that I'm gonna have it tonight ready for him along with that pesto tortellini bake. Tomorrow we're gonna do the beef, the beef brisket because I just can't even wait to try that one. And then the rest we'll put in the freezer. Sunday night we'll be making another five meals. We'll be making week two. Then Monday we'll make week three. Tuesday we'll make, wake, make week four. Thursday, Wednesday we'll make week five. Thursday we'll make week six. And Friday we'll make week seven. So we will get all of your freezer meals done really, really easily for you. Okay, here's the rest of my things. I am almost out, but I have another pack in there. I may have to go grab another pack. Oh, man, maybe I can do it. I can do it, look, I can do it. It is exactly two. I just happened to break a bunch of mine, so there we go. That's gonna be fine. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and, and y'all, when you're cooking, like if you see something like this, don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. You are cooking for your family. You are not cooking for like a king or a queen. They're gonna absolutely love whatever you make, I promise. Probably 30 seconds in the microwave for this is perfect. That way it just kind of comes right over top. So easy, so yummy. Um, this is a little softer than I would want it to be, but it's not, it's gonna harden right up. It is totally fine. Um, there we go. We did it, we did it. I'm excited. For breakfast this morning, I'll be licking these spoons right here. Those are mine, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Okay, so let me show you what we got. So all of the freezer meals, Hang on, let me show you what we just finished, which is craziness to me. We had, we just finished making a clear cake, lemon pesto chicken, beef brisket, two cans of lasagna, Brunswick chicken stew casserole, and pesto tortellini bake. Y'all, how exciting is that? I'm gonna show you really quick what comes if you order. We are, like I said, about 90% sold out. If you're interested though, you will love these. If you order, you get two of the freezer bag stands. Let me show you. Two of these cute freezer bag stands that say Passionate Penny Pincher on them. You get the cute bag to put everything in. You get all the small cards to put inside of these so that you know what you're making when it comes out. And you get these, which are the best things ever. 12 weeks of grocery list menu plans sent to you. This is the only, we are truly the only company on the internet that does this. I think they're pretty amazing. I love them and think they're so useful. Um, I'm excited about having them here. I'm gonna answer any quick questions that you guys have. I'm gonna turn my little cameras up here. Hi guys on Instagram, hi guys on Facebook. Um, what do you serve with the lemon pesto chicken? So, servings, let's talk servings. Here's what I would serve with things. Phew, that was a lot of cooking. I need to take my breath. Phew. Okay, so what I would do for servings is I would do, um, like on lemon pesto chicken, I would make some homemade bread, a big side salad, and a veggie. So I keep it pretty simple. I always do a big side salad, a big veggie, and then bread if it's appropriate. You could also do baked potatoes with that would be yummy. Um, sweet potatoes would be fantastic, so so super easy. You got yours last night, Tammy, do you love them? You're going to cut ingredients in half if it's only, yeah, definitely cut your ingredients in half if it's only you and your hubby. Hi, Starla, I'm glad to see you this morning, Starla. Hi, Barbara, I'm tickled you're here. You can never fat go as fast. Okay, well let's in fairness know that this is the mess behind the fastness. For those of you guys, this is what it looks like around here. It's a hot mess, big fat mess over here. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, you need to save up, definitely get them. Good morning, oh my friend Sherry is here. I'm not this efficient Sherry, it's only because it's on Facebook Live, so this is fake. I would not be this fast if I hadn't done some pre-cooking ahead of time. You got yours, how big was the brisket? Okay, let's talk brisket. Where's the brisket? I got a 15 pound brisket. It was huge. We broke it into three things, so this is literally gonna make, so we'll have it a huge one for tomorrow, and then we have two more. I think we could have even, we could have cut it into four, so you'll have a lot of brisket with that, but it does cook down quite a bit, so you wanna make sure you have plenty. Um, you're excited to make the meal plans. These, they are the best meals, you guys. I'm not even lying. Like, these are the best 
These are the best freezer meals you will ever make for sure. So if you're curious about them, they're fantastic food. They're shipped to you. It's all easy. It just takes away all the stress over this. You were amazed at the quality of the products. Yay! I love hearing that. That makes my day. That makes me so happy. I do feel like the quality is amazing. And the fact that you can have like, it'll just give you your grocery list. And it's dry erasable so you can reuse it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever as long as you don't dump it in some Worcestershire sauce. So I'm excited. You got yours and they're so cute you're ready to use them. I'm so excited. Y'all are going to love these. I just promise you will love these. Okay, I will be back Sunday night, I think 8 p.m. I think I said 8 or 8.30 p.m. I'll be here on Facebook Live making all the things. You guys have an amazing day. I am so thankful for you. Get your meals done. You can do this. I'm excited. Click the link in the video. We are about 90% sold out, so you definitely want to order soon if you're interested. Have an awesome day. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.